Welcome to my daytime rally hacking guide. Hacking guide. And I can almost already hear you guys thinking, aren't there enough of those already out there? Well, I'm going to be focusing on one thing and one thing alone. I won't be talking about your fittings. I won't be talking about scanning. I'm just going to assume you guys already know that. I'm only going to focus on the hacking itself. So since I do not have an intro, I'm just going to make you guys look at my name for five seconds and hope you guys remember. All right, with that done, let's get into the contents of this video. First of all, we're doing a quick memory refresh. Your hacking might be a little bit rusty, so it will be nice to quickly go through the mechanics of the game. And secondly, uh, I'll be presenting my data collection. I'll be presenting 100 hacks that I did and uh, the kind of viruses that I used for that. Then third, um, I will be taking a deep dive into the, uh, to the underlying mechanics of this mini game. And then fourth, when we understand that mini game, we can talk strategies and I'll be presenting my strategy, uh, which I hope you guys will be remembering um, before eight, it's bait. All right, so let's get to that memory refresher. So we have the map here, it's 10 wide, nine high, and you can see all the different nodes that are outlined and also the empty spaces that are in between them. When you get into the map, you will spawn in some point and you can then click through the available nodes that are highlighted uh, to expand your territory. Um, you also can see your virus here and it, the amount of health that it has and the amount of strength that it has. And last but not least, you have the utility slots for when you pick up good things. Then you can find good things, but also bad things. Here is a defense system. And this, these uh, disable the adjacent nodes. Um, you can also find white nodes. White nodes are basically surprise packages, and they can either have a defense system or they can have a good and nice utility. Um, then last but not least, uh, when you click a node and it's empty, it will uh, display the distance to the nearest utility white node or four. Very important. Then this mini game comes in four flavors. Each uh, is a different difficulty, and uh, as you can see, not all the defense systems are activated for each difficulty. However, in this video, we'll be only be looking at one of these difficulties. And that will be the most difficult one. Um, the idea being that if you can beat uh, the most difficult one, you should be able to beat the other three without a problem. And then we'll be taking a quick look at the utilities. Um, you can just pause the video if you want to read this, get your memory up to speed. And the same goes for the defense systems. All right. The data collection. The data collection happened in 2016. And even though that's a while back, there's no real reason to assume that CCP has changed the hacking game since then. Um, and I did a 100 uh, level 4, so record hacks. And 50 of those I did with tier 1 virus, and 50 of those I did with tier 2 virus. Um, so let's take a look at those viruses. And I had for uh, my first tier 1 virus, I had a 9025 virus. And you could get the same uh, by adding a tier 1 relic analyzer to a um, tier 1 frigate uh, exploration frigate. Um, for the virus health, you'll have to be a little bit more creative. You have to uh, take a tier one relic or data analyzer. You have to add the um, archaeology or hacking skills. You have to have that at level three. And you have two, uh, you need two rigs to get plus 20. Um, and you'll get the 90 uh, virus health that is needed. Um, you'll get this 9025 virus. So for the uh, Omega virus, which is a tier two virus, you. you um, can get that by having a tier two uh, relic or data analyzer fitted to a tier one exploration frigate. And for the health, you also just have the uh, tier uh, two uh, relic or data analyzer, and then you um, have the level five archaeology or hacking skill because that's necessary to do have the first uh, part. So you'll just get this 11035 virus. So um, how did I do with those viruses? Um, well, with the 25 and 90 virus, obviously it's a lot harder. And I got a 74% success rate on the uh, hacking mini game. Um, and there's a lot of the things that I didn't know back then, which I do know now. And I think um, if you watch this video, you should be able to get a higher success rate than me. Um, and what is also important to keep in mind is that if you do data, um, uh, pirate data relic sites, that you get two attempts at every can. So 
And even if you have like an 80% success rate, they're actually really good because um, if, if you fail, you can try again. You can get up to that 96% can rate, um, which is uh, really nice. Uh, with the 35-110 uh, virus, um, I failed only one out of 50. And really, you shouldn't fail that very often. It's, it's, uh, you, have, you have a very strong virus. So how do you get those rates? Well, um, you have to uh, understand the mini game. You have to really know what's going on. Um, so, well, let's start with that, uh, and let's start with that with a very basic question: What is the goal of the mini game? Well, the goal of the mini game is to defeat the core. So you might ask, where is the core? That's a good question because there is actually a really good answer to that question. When you open the hacking mini game, you will uh, be spawned in somewhere. Like uh, in this instance, you will have spawned in a corner. And when you do, you need to count to eight. Um, and then, uh, well, the core has to be at least eight from where you spawned, eight nodes away. And that also means that the core is never in this uh, outlined in red area. Uh, the core just won't be there. It's too close to spawn. and how big that is, uh, is it really shows when you spawn just a tiny bit, you know, inside of, 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 of the map. Um, because now if we uh, draw those same arrows, uh, you'll see that the green area is just pushed to the side, uh, to the right. And um, two thirds of the map, you, you just don't even need to go there. Uh, there's no reason to go there. Look at these blue area. And um, this is an area you might even go to if you uh, follow that um, go along the edges uh, idea. But it's a trap. Don't go there. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have a hack like this and you spawn it, right? And the core is right next to you. So how does that happen, you might ask? Uh, well, that's because you spawn in the middle. And when you spawn in the middle, the game basically isn't able to put the core um, far away, uh, far enough away from you. Um, so it just puts it randomly anywhere. Uh, that happens, um, and it really makes the hack really random. But um, luckily, um, the amount of times that it happens is just really low. In a 100 hacks, it only happens to me three times, which is really huge, um, because that means we can just focus on the other ones, um, which happen at least 95% of the times. So we're just going to... Forget about these middle spawns for uh, for now at least, and we're going to focus on the other ones because they are more numerous. Um, I really want to hammer home the idea that to go along the edges is is not necessarily a good idea. Um, it's probably better than not having a rule, but in thirty percent of the hacks, it, it really doesn't perform very well. So in this case, it actually sort of works if you you know these are all edges and you sort of need to be here. So this is probably why the, the rule came here in, into place in the first uh, part. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's just a terrible idea if you have like one of these side areas or the loose areas where your core spawns in. Um, you will actually see uh, something like this where this top area is no longer green and um, the whole thing becomes a trap. You don't want to be there. The core is never going to be there um, and nor should you go there. So the second tactic we can use to find a core is actually very basic, but I just want to visually show you how, how important that can really be. So in this case, we have a 5 here, and when we um, actually visually show you what that 5 means, it's, it's actually quite significant. Um, it means that within 5 uh, nodes, there cannot be a core utility or white node, keyword being here, core, um, which means that this uh, core spawnable area, you know, the area where the core could be, can be significantly reduced again. And if you keep going through this process, you will find the core uh, eventually. So now that we know how to find the core, what's there to stop you? Because this sounds pretty easy. Just go and find the core. Well, along the way, you're going to find defense systems. And your first question will be, well, which ones are there? Um, well, the following defense systems are there. And um, they spawn in different, um, by different percentages. They're not equally common. Um, I think what is significant is that the healer and the suppressor are both uh, much less common uh, than the firewall and the antivirus. Um, and my suggestion is a one-third, one-third, one-sixth, one-sixth. 
uh, spawn rate, but you know it, it could it could be different as well. But what I think is significant here is that the healer and suppressor are both um, less likely uh, to uh, spawn. Um, so the next question is, where are they? Again, there is something really important here to know. But uh, first off, um, you're safe. The first uh, node you click, the first node node you click will never uh, be a defense system. I, which is quite nice from a design perspective. It must be very annoying, very frustrating to just first know that you open is a defense system. So that doesn't happen. Um, but we can also um, uh, color these uh, nodes safe, um, actually. And we can do that by using the rule of six. Um, and rule of six goes as follows. If a node is connected to six other nodes, it cannot be a defense system. So what does that really mean? Well, we have this node here in the middle, and if it is connected to one, two, three, four, five, six nodes, that means it is safe. And um, a defense system cannot spawn there. Um, however, if it is by any chance a defense system, that means that the core um, has to be adjacent to that defense system. So um, either way is good news, because if it is a defense system, then at least you know the core is next to it. Um, so and in general, um, finding the core is, is the biggest part of winning this game. Uh, so it's good news either way. And uh, for the record, it can also not be a utility or a white node uh, in the middle uh, of those uh, nodes. Um, so we can uh, draw the map like that, uh, and defensive systems can spawn in the blue area. Now, how often do these defense systems uh, appear? And um, here um, I uh, count as uh, 340 uh, nodes, which I opened, which is an export distinction. Like the ones that I opened, they also include uh, utilities and white nodes, and you're actually looking for those. So I'm guessing that the spawn rate of defense system is a little bit higher than this, um, but um, it appears to be around 16%. Uh, so it could be one sixth again, or just 20%, uh, something like that, somewhere, somewhere in, in that order of magnitude, at least. Um, all right, so now that we know where they are, those defense systems, um, and we also know that they are there, so they're trying to stop us. But what do we have to try and help us? Well, um, there uh, come in the utilities and the white nodes. Let's look into that. And which ones? Are there so there are those uh, utilities and I outlined them in the memory refresh and it seems that they spawn at different rates from one each other uh, it could also be because of the small sample size but uh, it could also be again there's one third one third one six one six um, division uh, between them um, yeah I'm, I'm having some trouble really uh, attaching any significance to that um, what is, I think, very uh, what is also important to note is that when I was looking for those nodes, I also counted the amount of white nodes that I found, and it seems that the order of magnitude here um, is at least, uh, yeah, you know, at a sample size of 152. That 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 seems quite significant. It seems that they are uh, occurring. You'll come across them um, at a roughly equal uh, amount of times. Um, so I also opened some of those white nodes, uh, but I really didn't open enough to uh, get any kind of picture of what's inside, uh, individually at least. Um, however, what I do think is possible with the data is to add up all the utilities and all the defense systems, and then we can see that the chance of ha getting either a utility or a defense system appears to be roughly 50-50. So at least the order of magnitude is that they are quite similar. Um, yeah. So. Well, now that we know how often those utilities and white nodes spawn, where are they? First of all, we can again use our knowledge from earlier uh, in that the rule of six uh, dictates that the um, that if a node is connected to six other nodes, no utilities or white nodes can spawn. So those are um, always empty in uh, this regard. And also adjacent to your virus spawn, white nodes cannot spawn. So still uh, utilities can spawn, uh, but white nodes can't. And it's easy to see why, because if you'd open a white node and there would be a defense system inside, um, that wouldn't be very good game design because that would mean you'd be locked inside of your spawn. Um, so that's not possible. Now, another thing that I found is that white nodes have a maximum of three connections. So white nodes um, can only spawn here in the white 
uh, circles. Um, the other nodes have uh, too many connections. And um, that really limits the amount of space where the white nodes can spawn. Now, that in itself might not be terribly significant uh, or interesting, but um, here uh, we can see the amount of connections that are opened in uh, uh, 15 hacks um, and also I, uh, with their connectivity. So with the lower connectivity, one to three connections, I found 30%, and four to five connections, those were 70% of the nodes that I opened. Now, if we go back to this map, we can see that that makes some sense because the uh, white or the, the nodes with lower connectivity, so where the uh, white nodes can actually spawn, um, they are um, a lot less um, populous, right? Um, however, um, the utilities um, and the white nodes, I still came across them at a roughly equal rate, and I even came across the utilities in the lower connection nodes. So if you are looking for some help, it might be a good idea to go to those lower connectivity nodes because you'll find th there will be a much higher chance of either finding a white node or a utility in those lower connection nodes because the white nodes are well not even concentrated there, but they're only there. Um, and there's no reason not to go to these nodes because the defense systems uh, seem to spawn at an equal rate in uh, both of these. So um, a node with less than three connection has a higher chance to contain a white node or utility. So then how do these utilities fare against the defense systems? Well, let's first take a look at the impact of the defense systems on our virus. Um, so when we simulate a fight between uh, the virus and uh, the defense systems, we can see that uh, the, di they, uh, the, the virus takes a different amount of damage. Um, so, for example, if the firewall uh, is taken on by the 9025 virus, that means that um, the virus will take about 60 uh, damage uh, in the process, uh, which is quite a bit because you only have 90 health. So, in the next slide, we will add the um, um, utility to that uh, simulation. So, we're still taking on that firewall, uh, but now uh, we have a... Uh, Utility. So instead of 60 damage, we'll be taking 33 damage, and that saves us 27 health, which is 45% of the uh, beginning amount, which is quite cool. Um, now, what is important here is that there is a very different, um, the, the difference, uh, there is a very much a relative strength of uh, these utilities. Some utilities are best used against the one, and other utilities are best used against the other. Um, for example, uh, you can see that the uh, sh shield here fares very well against the antivirus. It takes away all the damage, and um, the other uh, or two of the other uh, utilities don't even come close. You still take a huge amount of damage there. Um, so um, this would definitely be a very good matchup uh, for the uh, shield uh, uh, utility. And well, y you have the power to do that because. Uh, you're in charge and you can choose which utility you use when. So you have something to say as to which utility to use against which anti uh, defense system. Um, and I highlighted some of these uh, matchups which I think are uh, very good for the um, uh, utilities. Um, so uh, with that in mind, uh, now that we uh, are looking again at this uh, firewall, which utility should we use? Well, let's go back to this uh, uh, table and we can now see that if we have a firewall the 50-50 would be the best uh, thing to use on it and luckily we have that so we can keep the uh, shield for later use uh, of course if we can um, so if we have a 110 35 virus uh, the utilities get a lot stronger because they're actually multiplied uh, sort of by the virus strength so um, this is a huge uh, reason, again, why the 35 virus is just a lot stronger. And you can see a lot more zeros, which means that uh, the utilities are at least doing you know, an equally uh, good job as a single defense system. They're winning the matchups in some cases. Um, however, um, what hasn't really uh, been uh, talked about up until now um, is that um, the uh, defense systems um, they are more more frequent than their uh, than the utilities. 
you'll find about two defense systems for every utility. So that basically means that you're on a clock. You cannot go around and clear the whole field. You cannot clear the whole map because the utilities that you find will not sustain you in your fights to uh, the defense system that you find. This means that you need to hurry to defeat the core. Now, are you still alive after all of that information? Great. Here's the kitten. Um, I think she's very cute. I do. Yeah. Um, so, now that you understand the mini game, how do you play? What are the best strategies? Of course, the most important thing is to find the core, and for that, I would like to propose the before 8 its bait strategy. Um, this means basically to uh, eliminate the area where uh, the core cannot even be and just try to fight as little as possible in general. Now, um, this is the way you should see the map uh, when, when you get in. Um, and in this uh, red area, there's no reason to fight non-priority uh, defense systems. And uh, in this yellow area, it's only if, if one of the uh, uh, possible spawn locations of the core is blocked, uh, preferably if you have some information that it's, it's actually possible that there is something there, so like a low number uh, coming in. And um, even then, it's, it, it's, it's sometimes just better to uh, go for, for other areas and just pray that this is not the core. Um, so, um, well, what do I mean by low priority um, systems? Um, I mean like the firewall and the antivirus. There's no real reason to fight them if they are in the red area, um, if you can possibly go around them. Um, yeah. Now for the healers and the suppressors, you will have to uh, really uh, judge that case by case uh, what is the right course of action, but it can definitely be the right course of action to just ignore one of those. Um, so um, the priority um, is again to find the core, and um, we should also, uh, you know, in addition to the map that we saw earlier, we should uh, look at the rule to six, a uh, rule of six to really spot like what area also is like safe, uh, considered safe with this uh, rule of six. And in this particular map, it's it's a huge area. Um, so here, this yellow area outlined is this is all safe. Um, if you get to one of these nodes, you can open all of these nodes reliably. Uh, unless, of course, uh, one of them is adjacent to the core, which is also good news. So it should be a goal to get to that um, to that uh, area, uh, like so. So let's say we plan this route for ourselves, like this blue year route. Now, this is where the try to fight as little as possible idea comes in. So say we find a... Uh, defense system here on our road. Well, let's not get discouraged and let's just try and go around it. You know, we don't have to fight this. I know, I know, we want to go here, but why not try and go around it? Uh, don't try and fight. Why would we fight this this firewall? It, it seems stupid. Um, so that's what we do when we get inside of this yellow area. That's great. Now, here is the next part. Don't get distracted by the utilities too much. You know, you might see those juicy twos, and you know, if you can do some math here, um, that actually means that this uh, node it has to be a uh, either utility or white node. You know, there could be the juicy eagle eye. Um, it could be, but probably not because it's a low connectivity node, and it's probably just a white node. Um, and also, there could be suppressors on the way there. You could be in for some real trouble. So, I suggest just leaving the whole thing to the side and, you know, keep it in mind, but go on with the hack and find the numbers to, uh, to, to fight, uh, look for the numbers to find core and possible core locations. So, um, this is quite basic, but it's nonetheless very important. So, we have found some, 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 some numbers here, and uh, what you can see is that this is a 2 which means that the core will never be in this uh, un, uh, nonetheless green uh, area. Um, so because of this one, we do know that you know one of these uh, uh, positions has to uh, be either the core or something else. Now in this case, I'm dictating how the hack goes, so I'm saying, well, this is happens. You uh, go to the side, want to get a little bit more information, and then you find that the core is uh, there as well next to it. So congratulations, you just cleared the hack.
All right. Now, the next piece of strategy advice um, is that you are playing a game of chance. You need to realize that. A full clear is usually impossible, especially if you have that 2590 virus. Now, let's look at a situation. Um, so, we have this map, and uh, we are coming in here. Um, we came all the way through to the, to the corner, and, uh, well, we ran into an antivirus. And this antivirus is blocking three nodes, um, which, you know, they could very well be the core. Um, now, notice that uh, when we came in, uh, this was a one because there's a white node here. And, well, the white node also doesn't give any information. So we have no idea about these three. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is a way through. We can use this 50-50 that we have and uh, use some of our health to just bust straight, straight through this antivirus. But you have to ask yourself, does that really give you the best chance of beating this, uh, this map? Uh, because there is another strategy, which is to just say, well, um, that's fine, um, but I'm just going to pray that the core is not here, um, and I'm going to go straight through uh, this uh, direction uh, and I'm just going to ignore this, this antivirus and just hope that the core is in this area and I think uh, in this case that would be the better strategy because there's still a lot of uh, area out here where the core could be including these uh, nodes so um, notice here that if we go and fight this antivirus we, we can't even beat the core straight up uh, in a fight um, so in this situation, I would suggest that you just pray that the core is not near the antivirus and you just go for the highest percentage play. For the last piece of advice, what do you do when you have found the core? Well, if you're not uh, suppressed, then always attack it. And if that uh, beats it, then congratulations, you've won. If not, um, you need to find help. So how do you find help? Well, first of all, you'll want to uh, follow the leads. Um, if you know that a utility or white node is, is somewhere, uh, for example, in this hack that we've earlier uh, talked about, um, you can just look at these twos, and of course, there will be a uh, white node or utility here. So this is what I mean by a, a, a lead. Uh, you already know something somewhere near a, a general area, and uh, in this case, you even know exactly. What you can also do in this hack, like say we're going to beat this core, is you could um, go uh, into the safe area and try to find some uh, white notes or um, utilities, straight up utilities uh, in this general. Now, um, what you shouldn't do is, um, if you find a five here, is go all the way in there. Because you'll just find a suppressor there, or just a random virus, and uh, you're better off uh, just looking for uh, or opening the white notes for because that's step two, open the white nodes. And only then, if you still can't beat the core, you'll just like try and find something. Um, at this point, you're quite desperate, and you're probably not going to win the, the, the hack. Um, that doesn't matter. Um, you can lose some, that's okay. It's a game of chance after all. But hopefully, with this advice, you will be able to beat um, the hacking uh, in a majority of cases. That's what I'm after. So, good luck in your hacking. But before you guys go, um, I would like you to ask you if you could like, you know, press the button that is highlighted in green here. And you could also share it again with a highlight button in green. Um, and uh, for example, share it on Discord with your court mates. Um, lastly, we have here the subscribe button. Uh, and I highlighted all the buttons you guys should press. Um, I hope that's very helpful. Um, now, as this is my first video, I would really love any uh, feedback in the uh, form of comments. Uh, you can comment uh, if you have any feedback. And also based on the reaction uh, on this video, uh, I might put out more videos. Um, it costs a lot of effort um, to make this video. So if it gets like 50 views, I I'm probably not going to bother. Um, that said, thank you for watching and fly dangerous.